Hi friends, I hope you all are fine, well and good. So this is very short and crisp video about the things attributes which are required in corporate in an interview and after an interview because there is a relevancy. In an interview you are being observed as a person who is going to be work in a team and, and in a project or in a profile by a perspective of an interview. So let me take an example of if you are a fresher and you applied in XYZ company in your last semester and your profile got shortlisted with with Ram or with Sham who were who was also in your class. Now you both went for an interview but Ram got selected and you didn't. Even even though you were always topper of the class and Ram was dropper of the class. So what the things which made Ram to be selected instead of you rather than you? So those things are the attributes which are being focused other than your academic background. So there are lot of things which you have to enhance in yourself if you are a nerd. If you are topper, but you shouldn't be nerd. You should be smart. You should be street smart. You should have following attributes and qualities in you which I am going to tell you. So let's go by one by one. My friend, something is called as a relevancy and just because of that relevancy, you are shortlisted. Your profile has reflected so many appropriate things to an interviewer by virtue of that he or she got able to shortlist you. So you need to maintain that relevancy till the end that I will tell you later how to do that. Agar aap relevancy wo maintain nahi karenge, then it will reflect you have manipulated load of things. So you need to maintain that relevancy. For an example, if you have shown a project in your resume that you did in your academics like uh, any analytics or any fundamental analytics over a ABC company or interview may you are unable to 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 just justify and describe yourself what you have done in that project though it won't be work out kyunki ho sakta hai just because of that project aapko select kiya gaya ho kyunki aapki jo profile hai the next profile is also same the next profile is also like a fundamental analysis so you have to maintain that relevancy you have to keep updated yourself what you had mentioned in your resume are you aware about that you have to practice over that so for few other things we will move further so the first one is attitude presence of mind the most important thing in all of the attributes after an attitude presence of mind if you if you have presence of mind if you are on the point on the track and logical then it seems like you are alert enough tends to reflect your image you are smart and you are intelligent if you are not having a presence of mind you are not intelligent you are not smart you are not alert you are not aware you are not even know why you are there so for presence of mind for god's sake at first gather an information why you are looking for that profile in which you are being assigned or which you are being selected for an interview so presence of mind reflects those kind of things i mean if i ask you why i should hire you or why why you want to get in get this profile get this profile you should have a, that logical answer which is required or which is expected if you do not know why i should hire you why you are uh, in this company and why you need this profile instead of any other then you do not have a presence of mind you do not know what you are going to do you do not i cannot trust you i cannot because i do not need a person who has to who has to be with my company for a uh, for three months or the four months four months or five months i am looking for a candidate who will with me for a longer period of time it can just because if you know what are you why are you and how are you so that is why when 
or other when one say maybe your gut feeling but just in digestion after all you need to be focus over over the things which you have said there and which were required or not second is is intelligence intelligence it is not like it can be measured in a quantitative manner it is a qualitative thing which you brought up in yourself by practicing by exercising load of the things because intelligence has also a level a level of intelligence everyone is an intelligent everyone has some kind of intelligent intelligence in in different manner but if you are applying for a certain kind of a position in a, in in a, in in xyz company in xyz sector and xyz industry are you able to take that ownership with your intelligence we do not hire parrots we need that kind of persons who have their own point of views have their own perspectives have their own intelligent minds have analytical bent of mind to describe the situation to handle the situation because sometimes the things over rule to you and it comes to you and you become a representative of a team of a firm or of a organization out of organization in external world if you are intelligent and if you know how to handle that situation then i will select you and you have to be like that in your interview because the questions are asked in that manner they will puzzle you they will confuse you they will check you out if you have intelligence to handle that position to handle that obstacle to handle that situation or not if you have a managing capability if you are well enough to do that then you will be prior than other attitude is the most important thing uh, they look into you because by attitude you they come to know how how kind of person you are what kind of person you are uh, are you having a learning attitude are you having a helping attitude if you do not have a that much if you do not have a attitude to work in a team as well then you are not able to do work in this corporate or the, in this organization because i need a person who works in a team having attitude to work in a team as well as a helping attitude to help other members in a team by stretching his or her time uh, in uh, in a day or in a night and also having a learning attitude to learn new things because we are going to mold in mold you in a that way that you can be asset for us and or reliability so you should have that kind of attitude and you have to reflect that in your interview yes you are having a learning attitude as well as a helping attitude and you are down to earth character character shows what kind of person you are are you trustworthy if you are not then you are not able to do work in my team because huge responsibility will impose over you and ownership will be given to you for a certain kind of work if you are not able to do that if you are not able to take that responsibility and over ownership you are not able to do work in my company and my firm and my team so you have to show your trustworthiness yes you are trustworthy you have to show your credibility yes you are because if you are trustworthy or you are credible person then there will be a lot of responsibilities will given to you and chances become to get promotion or a next level as well so this reflects from your character you have to make your character as in actual you should be trustworthy if you say yes then it is yes if you say no then it is no sometimes you have to be mixed but it is according to situation but not always smartness and alertness this is one of the most important thing your smartness reflects your intelligence and your alertness reflects your smartness see your smartness reflects your intelligence and your alertness reflects your smartness so the one of important thing is if you are alert you may be smart if you are smart may be intelligent enough 
so when your manager say bring my file before and time and i do not care how then you have to collect the resources you have to collect the information and gather the data from here and there from your team members how to do that and find out the find out various ways and find out the easiest way in which you can do that with the price size and bring the quality in your work so that is a smartness and it is being checked while the while interview take your written test written tests are not just just for your communication skills or your writing skills they also see how alert you are are you on a topic or you are not or what kind of things you have written flexibility your flexibility also we checked when interviewer tends you to wait for a longer period of a time like a 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours 5 hours they check your flexibility how flexible you are i have also been to an interview in which i was asked to come at 2 pm and my interview was taken at 7 pm and the second round was at 9 pm because she was checking my flexibility how flexible i am if your face reflects you got a problem or you are you are got sick because you were waiting you are out that time you are out at that point of time you have to keep thing in your mind you are going to enter corporate and corporate are your second home if you have to stretch if you need to be stretch stretch if your manager wants you to be stretch then you have to so before that in an interview you have to keep that thing in your mind that you are going for an interview and if these things happen you have to be positive and you have to take the things positive because it it will be happen in a further more reliability for it sir listening skills loyalty humor and the confidence listening skills these are not additional attributes but these are also required because you are going to be work in a team and, the, and in the team you need to be listening skills to listen your team member because everyone has its own point because if he she or she wouldn't have that much logic or wouldn't have that much uh, ability then uh, he or she wouldn't have in your team he was not in your team otherwise so you have to be well enough to to reflect yourself yes you have a listening skills before listening or before the completing of a question do not start your answer it shows or it reflects as well as they also check you in a group discussion in a group discussion let other one complete and then uh, start because if you do not have a that, that much listening skill you are out second thing is the loyalty how loyal you are you were start, you were starting in a favor you go against you were in a favor you go against you go favor in against there is no appropriation you are not loyal p point to point be on a track and be on the line from where you started up till end because it shows your loyalty if you know the answer say yes if you do not know answer say no humor humor is required because every every company is now seeking for a good environment because attrition rates are so high so if environment is good then you will also feel good so for uh, in environment they sometimes they crack joke jokes in front of you and you have to you have to <laughs> you have to manage yourself like you have also a good sense of humor if you don't have then bring up you in yourself otherwise smile smile is also required confidence if you have confidence then these things will be help you out otherwise everything is shit thank you so much keep watching keep liking and keep subscribing for more i ask if anything you want to ask in a comment i will sort it out